Uh, we have our annual Take Your Parent to Lunch Day. We always do it at the end of the school year. We uh, make a bunch of hot dogs. I have a lot of volunteers. We get water and chips and, and all kinds of businesses donate. Um, we give out free books to the kids and the parents so they can have a, a nice day out in the, the grass and the weather and under trees and on blankets like a big picnic and read the book to their child and enjoy just the, the day out enjoying school and uh, time with their family. Just like last year, this is a big turnout. It is. It, it's our biggest turnout every year. So we have about, uh, we always make over a thousand hot dogs. So it, it, that's equivalent to over a thousand people. So you can't beat it. I see. And we've got this uh, display art in the park. Uh, our art teacher, Julie Floyd, she has the kids do projects all year and she puts it out and uh, the parents go around and can see what the artwork the kids have done and uh, the parents really like to see that when they're out here. So it's a great opportunity for that. Beautiful. Couldn't ask for better weather. Oh, a absolutely not. Actually, when I looked at the news this morning, I was kind of worried they said something about 30 mile an hour winds. Yeah. So uh, we, we were very fortunate today. So yeah, the weather's beautiful. I see. We're winding down the school year. How's everything going? You know, now that Mount Charleston is going to stay open for next year, we're very excited about that. Uh, we had a lot of stress. Um, you know, we have the budget cuts coming through, and, and that's always a tough time. So uh, hopefully everybody will band together and, and we'll find the money so we have uh, uh, fewer cuts, if you will. But, you know, it's, it's always a tough time. But you know what? The parents are very supportive. The kids have been great. The staff's been very, very good all the way through the year. So uh, we're looking forward to a nice summer and then a positive start to next year. And, you know, the hardest part is, is, you know, we... Um, budget cuts are always tough, but the, the bottom line is everything's for the kids, and, and we all in the community need to focus on that, and um, it's very important that the kids get a strong education and a, a strong foundation. That's, that's what our future is, so that's what we need to take care of. Nicely said. I see you have your hands full. I'll let you go, Tim. Thanks for speaking with us. Thank you. I appreciate you coming. Absolutely. Thank you.